Hi, welcome to Think Human. I'm Chris, and in this video, I want to talk about social media, psychology, stuff like that. So, yesterday I was at work in an office and I was looking outside the window, and in the distance, I saw some smoke, a lot of smoke, and there was some building burning. And I was just looking at this building burning, and I was like, huh, that's interesting. There's a building burning. And that kind of hit me in an interesting way because I started to think about how distant we are from other people. Our world has grown to be so huge that we could not possibly care about other people's trouble. It's like this example, if you were asked on the street to help one starving African child or whatever, then you would be like, oh, you know, you have some story about this child, you know, grew up with only one parent and, you know, starving and whatever, you feel bad and then you donate money. Now, if this girl or whatever has a brother or sister, if they're like three or four children, then you actually give less money. And if you're talking about the entire village or a state or a country that is poor, then people's donations go down way, way, way down. And this is the effect of kind of overwhelming uh, sort of inability to really make a difference which is profoundly illogical because we should help the most people that we possibly can. But in a paradoxical way, uh, we can only focus on small issues. And this is because we have grown up in small tribes of people. We are not used to living in the societies of having millions of people in one city. We are used to tribes of maybe a few tens of people, maybe a hundred people. We are not used to walking the streets and every day seeing thousands and thousands of people who we can't say hi to. It's, it's profoundly weird, but we have to get used to that feeling. For me, at least, I sometimes feel it, that it's kind of strange. I would rather not see see people at all or I would greet them and, and you know say hi or whatever but in between we have created this weird kind of system where it's like this giant ant colony and we're not even communicating with each other and that's fine and you know look who's speaking I'm like the biggest introvert like ever that you could probably find um, but so what I wanted to talk about about this burning building so I was looking at it and I was like whoa that's that's interesting there's a building burning but then later I started to think about well that's someone's day totally ruined that's someone's life may be ruined. Someone might have died. A few people might have died. Their families grieving people in panic. At the same time, while I was looking at the building burn, many, many people were fighting with the fire and getting their business in order and saving things from the building and saving people from the building and worrying about what to do next and insurance and where to move or whatever happens. And I was just a distant observer, so removed from the situation and I think we have this with so many things because we are a part of such a huge hole that we feel like there's nothing we could possibly do but I agree and I disagree with that thought I don't think it's helpful or useful to live life thinking in a way that we can't make a difference because we certainly can even me with making this video hopefully can make you think about it a bit more and maybe that will lead you to do some things that you otherwise might have not done something positive but anyway what i what i wanted to get to is that social media is toxic uh, especially uh, facebook and all these other social media accounts i have no problem with people using it if you're using it and you're happy then that is wonderful and good for you absolutely i mean it but I have noticed that there is this kind of weird game that people are playing, this kind of game of this facade that people create. Look at me, how well I'm doing, how pretty and beautiful I am, what food I'm eating, what new house or car or living place I have, what a beautiful couple we are, What whatever is happening, people put out their, their perfect version, their refined and modified version of their actual life, which is not reality, it's fake. And I was looking a few days ago around social media and I got kind of sick to my stomach because all I saw was people pretending and wanting to impress people. They have no reason to really impress. What do you care about what strangers think? But sadly, this is a kind of social tribe kind of effect that if everyone cares about what everyone else thinks, then everyone cares about what everyone else thinks. But I would say be bigger, be better than that. Don't care, move away. 
I am way happier since I stopped using social media because it is toxic. It's not a joke what people tell you. If you spend your time looking at other people, especially if they're not honest, and I would say over 90% of people on social media are not honest about their lives. They only share their top, their peak moments, their best moments. No one talks about yesterday night I was crying and I was thinking I'm not sure what to do with my life. I was confused and I don't know if I have a good future. No one talks about that. No, no, it's just, whoa, I had the best trip ever. You should have been there. I had amazing experiences. People are awesome, wonderful, life is great. That's fake. That's, that's, that's fakeness. It might be true in some moments, of course. I'm not taking away anything, uh, anything like that. But people select out only the moments that they think make them look the best, obviously. So uh, I think you know what's the point what's the point of it if it's not real why be a part of it if it's just this kind of weird game of one-upping everyone of who has the best kind of presence and appearances it's just keeping up with appearances that's all it is and i think psychologically that's tremendously damaging because you comparing yourself to people who are not even real people is incredibly harmful to mental health i think so these are just my two cents. I remember the time when uh, the systems and social media used to be way simpler, where you actually had a group of friends and you would say like, yeah, cool party. And your friends like commented and liked and you had a laugh and whatever you shared pictures together is cool. Now it's 90% ads and the other 10% people you don't know. And I just don't care about that. And I couldn't possibly care about that. But yet people, it shows how empty lives people are really living if people care so much about what strangers and people that they don't know think about them that shows how sad their life really actually is um, it doesn't necessarily always need to be like that but i have noticed it generally tends to be that way I think there are much better uses for your time. You can always communicate with your friends and close ones and make new friends and meet new people. There are messenger apps and everything like that. But spending hours just comparing your life to other people's is incredibly damaging, like I already said. But this is just my short rant on this and I just wanted to get a few thoughts out on this. Uh, just, just something. So... I hope it was interesting in some way. If you have any thoughts about this, please share them in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching and take care.